picture this. A population of over 1.8 million cramped into a 27-mile enclosed area guarded by snipers. Creating the largest open-air prison in the world. Food, water and basic necessities are blocked from entry. Bombs are fired into the area indiscriminately. No place is safe. Not even hospitals, schools or mental institutes. This is Gaza, the most densely populated city in the world. In Israel's recent attacks on Gaza, 80% of the victims are civilians half of which are children, women, and the elderly. For all the babies who will not get to meet their mothers and fathers, I boycott Israel. For the systematic and racist ethnic cleansing of an entire population, I boycott Israel. For the blatant violation of human rights and the lack of respect for human life, I boycott Israel. For the bullets killing innocent children, the bombs destroying communities, and the rockets raining on the people, I boycott Israel. For every drop of blood, for every tear shed, for every scream for freedom, I boycott Israel. According to the Palestinian National Movement, Israel has incurred losses of around $8 billion due to the boycott campaign against illegal settlements. That's equivalent to 20% of their national GDP. In the past 10 months alone, Israeli-based company SodaStream has lost 50% of its market value. As Israel's treacherous actions remain unabated, the burden falls upon us, now more than ever, to put pressure on Israeli's economy and let them know that we will not stand by this genocide.